No big intro for me. I am Pops. Uh, farewell, Bob Newhart. This was a little rough. I actually had phone calls and messages. On the, I was driving and I'd seen it late, late in the day. I was driving to think about it, got a couple of messages and stuff, got home. It was brought up at home. And Bob Newhart was kind of a staple growing up. I mean, the Bob Newhart show was kind of a big thing before me and kind of always been around and just it's never something that I was major into and that I've grown to love over the years. It lasted and well, I mean, well over a hundred and something episodes. It was fantastic. And Newhart had just such a great deadpan and dry approach to comedy, which is which is so unique. And by the time he did the second with Newhart, it was the brothers, right? The the Larry Daryl and other brother Daryl. That gag transcended into pop culture, and that that I was familiar with. And that's kind of I think when I kind of went down the rabbit hole, started watching more reruns and things like that. And that's where you had the great finale. That everybody talks about where. It ends where um, the one wakes up with a dream and it's like, oh, was it a was it all a dream or not? Wake up at night. It was it was so clever. And he was really behind a lot of that. And then he kind of sprinkled his way through life the rest of the way. He had an episode of ER. He was on obviously he did some of the rotations. What's the NCIS? Uh, all that kind of stuff with, with, at one point or another. And I remember he had uh, come back with Elf. And it was just so heartwarming and he was just so great as the narrator and Buddy's dad. And he'll live on forever now because everyone will watch Bob Newhart every single year forever because Elf has become part of like the regular Christmas rotation for most people among the most favorite for some people. And Newhart is a key element in that. And Favreau, John Favreau, director John Favreau did such a great job of tapping that talent to bring that sort of like, calm quiet dry humor into that which contrasted will ferrell's crazy zaniness as buddy and i think it was great and brilliant and then of course the other thing which i think is his first emmy was one of his uh professor proton appearances on big bang theory and again those are probably among my favorite big bang theory episodes the show has not aged well for me i don't really enjoy the show nearly as much as when it was kind of playing out live and as i've had time to really digest it and maybe it's because culture has changed so much where it's so much more divisive towards certain types of fans and things like that i don't find big bang theory particularly fun to watch and yet professor proton is great and it reminds me of our childhood tv hosts and things that really brought us joy and he embodied that just perfectly and then had this great sort of like antagonistic relationship with sheldon even after professor proton's death because it would be like sheldon imagining but he would be talking as though he was there being sucked into sheldon's dream or imagination he was irritated by it and you could see newhart still a master at that dry wit it was just it was just it was fantastic so yeah uh hashtag r.i.p bob newhart uh what a run night comedy for decades and a legend just so great and if you're not familiar, I can't recommend that kind of thing being on. You can expose yourself a little bit to it. But yeah, the world's a, a less funny place today because Bob Newhart's not in it. So that was my take. Short, sweet. It's what it is. A little, little heavy today, feeling that. So there you go.